Uh-huh. If you guys have been uh, checking out the stories that I've been uploading on the LTT channel, there's a couple of little oh, I didn't know that. early teasers in there. But okay, without giving away too many spoilers, I think it's, you know, we've both recorded our, or we've at least got down what we're going to say in yeah. our, uh, you know, our pre, pre-installation blurbs. Because the first video is going to be me sort of talking about the process of getting started. So I actually, I, it's like 500, 600 words. And I go through, I've, I've got a rant about how utterly useless every, you know, best Linux distro listicle is. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hilarious. There's this one, <laughs> man, this is going to be too many spoilers. I, I don't even care. Let's just, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I read through one where <laughs> you're already ready for this. I know it. <laughs> Under Ubuntu. Oh no. Okay. You've got, You've got that it's easy to use and beginner friendly and kind of a pain to set up. (laughs) How can you have this? This is the same (laughs) listicle, okay? It has pros, easy to use, beginner friendly, cons, kind of a pain to set up. (laughs) Which one is it? I found a few, I, I found a few YouTube videos. Yeah, uh, I, I wish I could remember the the creator names from because they're actually quite good. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I found was more useful was if I was comparing two very specific DEs or sure. two very specific distros. Now that's so another it came thing. Down to like something more narrow. Everything's full of jargon. So you just said DE. Yeah. What is a DE? If I didn't know anything, if I didn't know enough about the modularity of Linux, for example, if I was really coming at this from a just normal gamer perspective and people started talking about DEs, even if they didn't shorten it to DEs, even if they said desktop environment. You'd probably think it was the distro they were talking about. And to be fair, for most people, um, like I, I would argue that when most people think about, say, Mint, sure, they, they're just automatically mentally bundling in that you're using cinnamon i would argue that when most people are talking about uh soulless they're thinking of budgie when they're talking about ubuntu they're thinking about gnome like yes you can have other ones a lot of these come packaged with other ones like you can get you can get ubuntu budgie uh sure but like most people if they just say ubuntu are probably talking about ubuntu with gnome sure um so so the first bit is me sort of it 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 ends up a little ranty because it's just ridiculous Coming in as an absolute no nothing, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you immediately read one article and go, forget this. This is too much. Yeah, I think the the distro and desktop environment uh, selection process is probably too daunting alone for the average user. And so after that, I basically, uh, I talk about what the process was like for me. I run through what my plan is, and then we're going to cut to Luke. He talks through what his plan is. And then, I don't know if I told you this, but Anthony is going to listen to each of our plans. plans. No, no, he doesn't get to talk to us. So part of the whole challenge is that Luke and I have to do this the way a normal user would. I mean, I've had developers reach out, multiple developers from major distributions to talk to me because obviously they want you to use their stuff they want me to use their stuff yeah. and not just that they don't just want me to use their stuff because it's a good marketing exercise i think they're just really proud of their work and so they should be and i think i think that's probably very genuinely a thing with the open source community absolutely. So i would 100% give them that yeah. absolutely but that's not representative of the normal person's experience and in order to be the best that i can be in order to be the best ally that I can be for the open source community and for the Linux community, I should try to tackle this as a normal user should. And I should be able to give my honest feedback without someone preemptively guiding me through. So even though we are going to have Anthony there for the benefit of the viewers, Anthony doesn't get to talk to us. Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. So from there... I want to address one thing before we go forward because I saw another comment about it. Yeah. I think... Uh, I spread it further when I tweeted out like which four of these distros do people think I should use? Yeah, and I included Fedora and then in brackets for the meme. I don't mean that Fedora the distro is a meme. <laughs> I mean that Fedora the name is a meme. It really is a meme. Come on, guys. <laughs> like we we use it. We use it. It's good. It's really stable. It's great. 
just the name is a meme. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Let's keep going. All right. So I mean, oh my god, even the red hat logo. Yes. Like. Yes. <laughs> like, come on, guys. Clearly self-aware. <laughs> Clearly, at least some of the people <laughs> at Red Hat are self-aware. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, um, after that, so after Anthony critiques our plans, it goes into a vlog. And I don't know how you shot your portion, but mine is me with, like, my phone. And no, okay, I'm, there'll be some spoilers. Not too many spoilers, but I end up back and forth between my desktop and my server room which is on the other side of the wall where my machine is actually oh, wow. plugged in a fair bit oh wow a fair <laughs> <Okay>. bit because <laughs> yeah. i mean you got to remember you got to remember you can't take anything for granted right i use a thunderbolt dog for literally all of my peripherals someone at float plane brought up that that might be an issue i have a very very unusual setup yeah, definitely all of yeah. my audio is routed through a go xlr a device that has quite literally zero acknowledgement from the manufacturer of the fact that Linux exists at all. And all this Elgato stuff. Uh, I don't actually have a ton of Elgato stuff at home. I've got my the key lights. lights, but key lights, my workaround is going to be using the phone app, which they do have. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. I can't be giving you too many hints. we got to work through these I problems have on our own. Already. Do you? Okay. I'm done. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. So Elgato uh, key lights, I have those, and I have a Stream Deck, but I'm just sad I wasted time now. But anyways, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't use my Stream Deck, so yeah, I don't really care. Yeah. Uh, 